Hello guys and welcome back to Fearlessly Living. I'm Doc Martin. So guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I actually have my lab coat on today and my stethoscope. So I am in full med student mode today. This is my first video. I'm going to start focusing more on the medical part of my life than just like the general, you know, thrifting, hair reviews and different things like that. So today I'm going to be discussing what's in my lab coat as a third year medical student during clinical rotation as a third year Caribbean medical student. And that's besides the point that my school name is actually Caribbean Medical School. <laughs> it's just as a third year student that went to school in the Caribbean and came back to the U.S. for rotations. But I'll do another video more detailed on how that process works. But for now, this video is focused on what's in my lab coat. So, um, generally, ge generally speaking, through all of my rotations, I always had my stethoscope, although I did not need it for psych. So, I carried it the first day and then kind of just left it at home the, uh, the rest of the couple of weeks. But I always have and I will link the description for all of these below and where I got them from and how much they were if I can't remember because it's actually been quite a while. This is something practically every medical student have. Everyone I come across has this. This is Maxwell's Quick Medical Reference Guide. This little tiny book is a lifesaver. It pretty much is like cliff notes, right? It has a bunch of things in here. It has normal life. Look, I cannot speak today. It has normal lab values, it has soap notes, it has history and physical, and on the back here also has an eye exam um, template. Uh, more of the eyes. There's some space there for you to write, you know, your own notes. It's like two or three pages. And then it goes to dermatomes and mental exams, and neurological exams, and history and physical, and they're all color coordinated, which is very, very, very cool. And it tells you like what color is what on the front here. So I'll link this below because I don't remember how much I paid for it. I feel like I ordered it from Walmart, but I'm, I can't really remember. So that's always in like my front pocket right here. I have my pocket farm as well. This book is more basically just with medications, depending on what your patient is presenting with, depending on what disease or symptoms that they have. You know, they have antibiotics in here, GI stuff in here. Pretty much it's like a quick guide. The writing is very tiny because they have so much in here. They have therapeutic levels. All kinds of things. So it's like a really quick reference guide to be like, okay, what well, would I prescribe to this patient? Blah, blah, blah. And then you just run to your little handy dandy guide. And it's so tiny, it literally fits in like any pocket. And I also do you guys a review on my lab coat and where I got it from. So it's, it's very tiny. Very, 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 very tiny. And it fits just about anywhere. And it's very, very light, fairly light. Aside from Single seed into the ground. I hope it grows, grows in a year or two. If you're around, you'll see a rose, rose. From that, I also have my pocket medicine. Um, this is really just a general guide for different types of diseases as well. It goes from cardio to infections to connective tissue diseases. It's pretty much generalized 
medical guide. I don't carry this around all the time. I have not done my internal medicine rotation yet. When I do, I feel like I will need this more. For right now, I am not really carrying it around, but it, I mean, it's a pocket guide. So of course, fits perfectly into your lab coat pocket. Also a great buy. Um, like I said, I will link all of this down below. that I always have lotion in my pocket because I wash my hands so much and I okay I'm not ashy today <laughs> and I really don't like being ashy and I hate the feeling of dry hands so I've always had like a little lotion in my pocket something small I could just hurry up and dab on and keep it moving um this right here is just my travel kit for my stethoscope and my other instruments that I use, like my pen light, which is right here, my reflex hammer. So it's pretty cool to kind of keep your things in one place and kind of protect it from being damaged by the other things in your back, in your backpack or your purse. So I usually put my stethoscope in here and carry it around with me. I got this from Amazon. I still have the link, so I will also link that below. I did not expect it to be this big, though. Honestly, I thought it would have been like something smaller, but it's actually, actually pretty, pretty big. It's pretty darn big. Yeah. Uh, lastly. This is not what's in my pocket because clearly it cannot fit. But it's just a clipboard that I got from Target. I don't remember how much it costs. So I'll definitely look that up for you guys. It came with a notepad, quite a few amount of sh uh, sheets in here. Easy to use. There's a pocket in here as well if you want to add other things. I love it because it also has like this clipboard part to take like quick notes and things like that. Most people carry around, um, sorry, most people carry around like little notebooks or little notepads that can also fit into their pockets. That's cool, but I find this a lot easier for me because it's something hard that I can write on and has a good surface and it's stable. So I prefer this, although it's really large. <laughs> But I do see quite a lot of students carrying this around as well. Actually, I saw this with a friend of mine from previous rotation. I was like, where did you get that? And I literally went to Target like that day and got myself one. And even like I see like nurses walking around with this and like other staff. And I saw for my lab coat. I will link this below. I got this from All Hearts. I will put the information below. Now, this is not a regular or a normal size student's lab coat. Normal size student's lab, student's lab coat usually is like waist length and they don't have as many pockets. Because I love having my pockets to carry all of my things in, like sometimes lip gloss, hand sanitizer, lotion, whatever it might be, even a snack, I really prefer having this one. I have not gotten in trouble for it. Black on wood, all black on the wall. So I'm hoping that I can get away with it. And I got it personalized. So this coat was probably like between $20 and $30. And getting it personalized was about $14, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so it has a pen area here. It has a pocket here that I usually put my Maxwell's in. And my phone, usually my phone is like behind it like this. Uh, there are two large pockets right here very large sometimes I carry my iPad with me and it can literally just fit in here my, my iPad mini um, there are also two large pockets on the inside and I'm assuming this is for your ID but I'm really not sure yeah it's, it's a really great lab coat like I love it so much I have not I have not regretted purchasing this lab coat at all it's awesome. It's excellent. I know I'm going to have it for a long time, even after graduation. One more thing I must, 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 must stress about your lab cool and what to have in it for your rotations. Black 
pens. Like you need black pens. Do not write in blue, do not write in green, do not write in red. Black pens are must, 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 must have. And I suggest you get like the really cheap ones that kind of look a big pack with a bunch of them in there because you will lose your pens. Doctors will take your pens. Students will take your pen. You will definitely lose your pens. Don't go to rotation with your favorite pen and definitely if it's your favorite, do not lend it out to people. Um, I know with reflexes, you might be writing with it and the doctor might just like signal you for a pen and you might hand it to him and then you're like, that's my pen. You can't just be like, doctor, can I have my pen bag? Like that's just awkward, right? So always have cheap pens that like, you need. I usually have like two or three in my pockets, but I always usually get my like my cheapest one. I'm like, hey, you can use this one because if I don't get it back, then I'm okay with it. But yeah, always have black pens in your pockets. You need them. You need pens. Um. Yeah, so if I forget anything else, I'll just come back with another video and let you guys know. So this is my first official video as a third year Caribbean medical student or internal medical student. I'm sorry, a third year international medical student, IMG. And I just wanted to share with you guys what's in my lab hope. There are enough videos out there for internal international medical students or Caribbean students. So I wanted to use my platform as a way to give you guys more information. I'm going to be doing reviews on rotations that I've done, doctors that I've done it with, what the schedule was like, reviews on how I studied for my shelf exams and how well I did. I'm going to be doing a video on frequently asked questions for international medical students or Caribbean medical students. I am just going to provide you guys with as much, as much information as I can, answer questions that I had when I went in and questions that I still might have or things that I was unsure about, things that I wish I would have done differently. Those are things I'm going to be talking about when it comes to the medical segment of my channel, the medical section of my channel. So please stay tuned. If you are if you like this video and you're interested in more videos like this, let me know what you want to see. I'm pretty much just bringing videos that I think might be helpful. If there are other things that you're interested in knowing, if you're interested in going to a school overseas, like whatever it is, let me know and I'll give you my honest feedback. I'm not being paid to do any of this. So whatever you get from me is the real tea, okay? Thank you so, so much for stopping by my channel, you guys. I always love when you stop by. I love to see you. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you're not yet subscribed, please go ahead and do so right there. Thank you so much for stopping by. Once again, I am Doc Martin, and this is Real Estate Living. Thanks for watching.